Charmed Aroma Candle. Who's excited? Candle videos. They're back, y'all. Let's get to In it. In my mind, I had planned so many great intros to this video. I was going to make the biggest jewelry comeback video there was. I was going to do a trailer with Hannah. But a couple things happened. One, Hannah grew up. She is now 14. I have to think about it. She's 14. She does not want to be on YouTube. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I wanted to originally film, like I said, a really fun trailer. I tried to get her involved. But, you know, teenager or kids, they grow up and they become their own person. So I'm sure she'll be lurking around, like when it's time to pull out what's inside maybe we'll like re-spark her interest but for now i do have two candle packages and i don't want to keep putting it off any longer because again i had some great ideas but they just have not been executed due to personal reasons so if you follow me on instagram you know why we've just had a lot going on but i'm super excited so let's get to today's video right so the first company we are going to be reviewing after many a google search is the charmed aroma candle so i literally just googled jewelry candles there are not as many companies as there used to be however i found a lot on etsy there are still some around we'll get to those in a later video but this one seemed pretty interesting. Um, I chose Vanilla Pumpkin, if y'all know me. I love bakery scents, but I also love everything pumpkin spice. I do like the imagery. It's got a bear with a little, like, latte cup on there. I like that a lot. There's the top of the candle. So, um, looks like the it's the exact size of the Bath & Body Work candles um, on the bottom. It does say that this is a soy wax blend. I'm not a fan of that. Um, it is a 12 ounce candle, but I don't think I was really paying attention to that when I ordered. So that was my fault. But, you know, they still seemed pretty interesting. And I like it says bougie right there. <laughs> anyway. All right. So it did come. It is a double wick candle. It did come with this card. Now... I will insert a clip showing you guys a little bit of shopping around the website. They do have different options. I obviously did choose the 925 Sterling Silver option um, because if I can get that, I'm going to go for it because it'll be a lasting piece. It says burn, reveal, wear on the back. Win a free ring. Share your reveal with us on Facebook or Instagram using hashtag Charmed Aroma and you'll be automatically entered to win. So... Kind of, you know, I always remember that they always have something to to bring you back. Like, win another chance, double the prize, you know, something cool and exciting. And I'm not hating on that. That's okay. The candle, since I've opened it, you guys, smells amazing. It has a really good cold throw to it. Yeah, that, that smells really good. I'm just checking the wax. So, y'all know what we need to do now. Lock this puppy up. So, if you have not watched any of my jewelry candle videos, I've got over 200 videos somewhere. Y'all just go back and look for those. And we'll just go over a few things I can remember. I'm going to be quite honest. I'm a wee bit rusty these days, guys. So, you, when you light your candles, you obviously don't want to have any type of fan or anything going around it. You want to make sure before you blow it out that you get a pool of wax completely covering the top. If you don't know what that means, I'll probably insert a clip and show you guys what that means. That way, the your candle does not tunnel, which means just burn down the center. Um, back when I used to do jewelry candle videos, we saw a lot of status jars. Those were the taller, clear jars. And uh, I believe Hidden Treasure Candle still does those. I can't wait to place an order with them. But I still prefer those. 
I don't know. I just, I love those. And they, to this day, I literally still have some in my bathroom that I use to hold Q-tips, cotton balls, hairpins, that sort of thing. So I really just like those more than these. I found that these lids tend to get rusty, especially when you try to clean them and get all the wax off. So the status jars just do better, but that's just personal preference to me. So I'm trying to remember what else. I knew I should have wrote down some bullet points, but that's pretty much it. Um, Back on the old status jars, you could buy these metal rings to put around the top to keep the heat in and prevent it from tunneling. I don't necessarily see those anymore. Candles were a big rage. I think they're kind of coming back, but I don't know for sure. I'm mainly doing this segment on my channel for you guys. I have been asked so many times over the last five, six, seven years to bring them back. And somewhere, is it in my desk? Yep. Somewhere I have had this since the beginning of my YouTube channel, what, seven, eight years ago? This is from Jim Delight's Candles, and it has a little jewel in there, and I have just moved it around over the last years. I never got around to it, so maybe we'll have to get around to that as well. I'll just put that over to the side, but <laughs> I thought that was funny that I still have that. It's got a little gemstone in there. But I'm pretty excited to see what we get out of this. I have looked up on Instagram and, um, you know, I mean, I saw enough interest to where I wanted to order from them. So we're going to let this burn when it gets a complete pool around the top. I'm going to come back and show you guys what that means, just in case you don't know. All right, guys. So this is not how you want your candle to look. Um, it's actually starting to tunnel and I am not sure why. Um, there's no fans on or anything like that. Normally a double wick, it's really hard to get one to tunnel, but how you know it's happening is the pool is so great in the middle and on one side. So I don't know if maybe the room temperature is too cold i know 100 percent soy blends um you don't have that much problem with um 100 soy candles you, i've never had that problem but when you start doing blends you can get tunneling like my bath and body works ones used to do it too so not really happy about that i have it under a lamp that gets really hot so we're going to keep an eye on it and hope it doesn't keep tunneling. This candle originally, I believe, was $31.99 and I got on sale for $17.99. So that's a pretty big markdown. So not too mad about what I paid for it. And while we are babysitting this candle trying to see what's going to happen as far as tunneling. I made a graph because I'm a visual person. So over the years, this is something I've tried to explain to my audience for years. Before picking out a jewelry candle, you're going to need to decide what you're buying the candle for. You're, some people only care about, you know, a high quality candle, the jewelry is just a bonus. Some people, they don't even care so much about the candle. They want a prized jewel inside. And then there's the third type of customer, which is, you know, they want a good candle and a good piece of jewelry. Me, I used to obviously fall in this category. This category is generally the toughest, but we'll get back to that. Okay. So when you are looking for just the candle aspect, a couple of things to look for is, you know, my preference, yours might be different, is 100% soy wax. It's clean burning. It doesn't give off like the black tarry stuff that paraffin does. Um, it's just a cleaner burning wax. I always look for double wick 
to avoid tunneling. I don't want to have to babysit my candles. It's a candle. It has one job. It needs to do the job. Um, and a solid scent throw, you know, like if I'm buying a candle for a candle, it better impress me. It better smell and take me on a vacation via the aroma. Um, and also don't get thrown off um, or don't get distracted if you are looking at a website and they've got 300 cents. To me, um, that's a little fishy. I think that if you do candles right and they're high quality, you don't need a billion cents. I mean, obviously you want a variety, but you know, um, I remember back in the day, there was a company that had literally like you could just keep going through the list um i think that if you do things well you know you don't need to do that that's just my opinion but um sometimes i feel like that's kind of um what's the word kind of i don't even know the word i'm looking for guys but i don't know you know what i'm saying i'm sure you do okay so if you're going for just the jewelry aspect, okay, um, I here's some things to look for. You want to look for them offering genuine 925, that's sterling silver, um, the words genuine, um, don't, you know, if you're, again, if you're going for the jewelry, avoid things like plated, um, uh, what's the other thing? Coated, um, gold tone. I've seen a lot of that gold tone, silver tone. Um, you know, if they're offering a genuine piece of jewelry, it will say solid or genuine 925. Um, metal versus stones. So as I've been re-researching jewelry candles, you guys, um, a lot of places are kind of throwing you off by not offering a genuine band, but a genuine stone. So pay attention to metal versus stones, and maybe that's okay for you. Um, this is just a general guideline to kind of help you if you're new, um, looking for jewelry candles. Maybe you're wanting to get this as a gift, and you know, you want to make your dollars count. So it's just something to consider. For me personally, um, the the metal, the band itself is what's most important because you don't want that turning green. I don't care so much about the stone. No one's going to know if it's a diamond or a cubic zirconia. I mean, come on. So that's just my preference, but keep an eye out for that. Now, when you're looking for the ultimate bundle, the awesome candle and jewelry, um, look for authentic reviews. Um, make sure they're not like paid if they're super popular. Um, YouTube gurus, I mean, come on, look for authentic real people reviews because if they have a good candle with good jewelry, people are going to talk about it and they're going to want to tell their friends. Look for fan groups and swap pages. If, again, someone offers a great candle with a great prize inside, people bomb, they enjoy the candle, and then maybe they don't, the jewelry's great, but it's just not their style, but it's quality, so you'll see swap groups for that. So look out for that. Um, also look for pictures, like, on Instagram and social media, like Facebook, things like that. Sorry again, that. I got a phone call. So... Yeah, you want to look for, you know, just reputable, reputable reviews. And um, the I made a little note down here for PayPal and credit card. There was a debacle back in the day when I used to review candles. And we had ordered from a company that was supposed to be this. It was supposed to be an amazing candle, amazing jewelry. And that candle was not cheap. I think it ended up being like... Uh, I'm just estimating, I can't remember, like 50 or $60. And um, the person ended up, something happened, some like candle drama. And she didn't, like the candle she sent, I can't remember if I even got the candle. I think I, I okay, it took her forever to send it, but something happened. And the candle she did send ended up coming broken, shattered. Um, I can't really remember. There was something, but I ended up having to go through PayPal. And she, there was like a whole, it wasn't just me. It was like a whole group of people that got shafted. And again, I don't remember the particulars. But 
um a lot there were people who lost i mean they lost money on it um luckily for me i mean i'm pretty outspoken you know what i mean i called paypal and jumped on it and i had to battle her but um that was one of the only things i really had to battle to get my money back for but make sure that if you are spending a higher amount um that you pay through either paypal or an actual credit card company, someone that's going to have your back financially. Don't just give your card number away if you don't know who you're buying from. So I made a little note to put that down there because word to the wise back in the day, thank you that I had PayPal during that situation. So anyway, I just wanted to go over this little diagram just in case you guys are new. Again, I have a playlist for candle videos. Go and check that out. And let's check in on this candle. All right, it's been about another 20 minutes. This side is finally starting to uh, pull. We've still got this side to go. It's about 12.30. So it's fixing to be 1 a.m. soon. Um, again, it's very important that this pulls correctly so that it doesn't tunnel. And to give it the best opportunity, I'm going to give it a little bit longer and see if we can get that side um, completely melted as well. All right, guys, it's been another 30 minutes. I'm back. Um, the tunneling is getting better. We've got this last bit on this ridge over here. But I think if we look closely, is that something? Is that a little, it's trying to focus. Is that a little something, something popping up there? I think it could be. This is a good way to put pooling. You want an even layer across that candle before you blow it out. So as you can see, we do have some very uneven heating on this. And I've noticed over the years, some companies use thinner wicks. And I definitely think these are thinner. Um... I would, I like when they include like two big mama size like wicks, you know, but I think it would definitely help with the uneven heating of it. But so hopefully we can get that last little bit melted. And that is definitely um, a little treasure popping up. Look at that. You can see it. We can see you. All right. It's pretty late, but we have almost completely pulled the candle, which is great. We only have literally just this tiny little section that needs to melt so that that wax memory um, will completely melt when we burn it again. Confirmed. We do see our treasure down in there. You guys see it? Oh, yes. We see you trying to peek out. I even see little bubbles coming up. So, which is a good sign. Like that there's air trapped down in there. Because that's where our treasure is at. So, I don't know if I'm going to stay up and pull it tonight. But if not, I will update you guys in the next update. I have lit this for the second time. It has been going for well over an hour. Matter of fact, I've actually been sitting here filming other videos. Um, it is, in fact, or appears to still be tunneling. Um, as you can see on both sides. And, um, you know, there, it's not like under a fan or anything. It's just sitting here on my desk. Matter of fact, I've got a stack of journals um in front of it so you know that's super annoying and that could be a bunch of factors it could be because it's not 100 percent soy when you start throwing paraffin in paraffin is so finicky and if you don't have a large jumbo wick it just it tunnels so easily um matter of fact i have a better homes and garden um candle right now that it's tunneling because it's um, a blend and the wick is tiny like these. So um, 
I'm just surprised that these are things that they don't test out on these candles. But, um, you know, so it could, it could be that and, um, could just be not the proper wick for the right wax, which is something that April Kushner at Kushner Creations is something she actually taught me. Um, she helped educate me on that. Like, you know, certain waxes have to have, um, a certain type of wick to be able to burn properly. So it probably just comes down to that. It is super annoying, <laughs> you know, but we're going to continue to watch it. Um, it's pretty warm in our room. It's actually, um, one of our cats isn't feeling well. So, you know, we don't have, so we don't have the air or anything like that on. But as you can see, we do have a treasure poking out. It is kind of in the tunneled area. So I'm going to continue to burn. Hopefully I can get it out tonight. All right. Great news. So actually... It has finally evened out. Like I said, it is pretty warm in here. So I'm not sure why it was doing that. Um, I don't know if it's because this one is a blend that it's taking so long to pull. But it did finally completely pull. So I'm very happy about that. And we can start to see the treasure popping out. So I was really, really nervous because it did appear to be tunneling. But it's not um, so far <laughs> it's, it's came back to life. So I'm very excited about that because to be honest, it, you know, up until this point, I really had my doubts, uh, but I'm very happy about that. So we should be able to pull a treasure out very soon. The scent throw is very good. Um, very strong, but not overwhelming when I leave the room and come back in, I can definitely smell it. So I do like that aspect of it. Um, I just wish it wasn't so finicky, but yeah, I'm enjoying the scent a lot. I can't wait to see what jewelry we get. All right, guys, it is finally time. As you can see, we have a prize right behind the label. I have been working on this candle for a couple weeks, to be honest. The burn time, very good. I will give it that. <sighs> Might help if I turn the flash on, you know. Oh, this is so exciting. I have not done this in so long. Okay, it came out pretty easily. I've got us uh, some paper towels waiting right here. Who's excited? First jewelry candle video. I've got another one in the closet. Not from this brand. A different brand. But pretty excited. So, per the little label right there, just to recap, made with solid 925 sterling silver. So, I'm trying to clean off these tweezers. These are not the official jewelry candle tweezers. Those actually just came out of my purse. We're improvising, okay. So, um, while I'm unwrapping this, the scent was very good. Um, the throw stayed very strong every time I lit it. Made the room smell really good. So, no issues there. Um, it just didn't always burn evenly. But what I had to do, I don't know if y'all can see this. I have a lamp right here, like a pink retro looking lamp. It gets hot. So, in order for me to get it to burn evenly, I had to keep it under the lamp. Otherwise, it tunneled. That's the only downfall to it. Oof, I forgot how greasy these things are. Hold on. Whatever glue dot they use kind of got all over it as well. Okay. Let's take a look. It is clear. I was kind of hoping we would get something colored. Always love colored stones, but that's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm pretty excited that it is sterling silver. I like that. And I bought something um, to show you guys for this video. Just a little comparison when we do our final thoughts on this, okay? So it's in a zippy bag here. There's a code on there. What does that mean?
I'm reading the little card. Hmm. Maybe there's something on the website. You remember how some websites have that where you can check like the value. Maybe that's what it is. Well, I'll check that out as well. All right, let me get all this wax off. Y'all know the rules. Y'all know. All right. Oh, it is really sparkly and pretty. Can y'all see that? There gum. Okay. And it does have the little tag that says size eight with a code. Not sure if that's just an inventory code, but we'll find out. Look at that. Okay. That is really freaking pretty. There's no stones on the side, but it, it is like a braided and it's very nice. All right, let me, y'all know me, I'm going to check those stamps. And as y'all can see, we have a 925 stamp, 925S, I believe. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder, but let me look at real life. 925, 925S, and then it's actually stamped size 8. Well, let's just try this on, okay? I'm actually, it is a true size eight. Look at that pudgy hand. Wow. Okay. Okay. This just took my opinion of this candle up. Way up, you guys. Like, I really like the ring. I'm not going to lie. I really freaking like this ring. Just look at it. Look at it glistening. No one's even going to be like, oh, she has sausage fingers. They're going to be like, girl, where'd you get that ring? Are you engaged? <laughs> Not yet. Brian actually told me I can't wear any rings on this finger. He said that's his finger. He's reserved it. Wow, that is really freaking pretty. All right, so I did go back to the website, and there's a tab that says jewelry appraisal. Congratulations on finding your jewelry. Find the code attached to your jewelry. Enter it to get your jewelry appraised. Enter your code. Um, I wish I would have put that on this little card because if you're going to give this as a gift, someone probably wouldn't know that. So, 69MJPX appraise. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, so they want your email. It's kind of curious. Invalid code. Oh, yeah. Long nails problem. Hold on. MJPX. Oh, okay. So it says $60 is my appraisal. Please send. I was reading what that said. Sorry. I don't really like websites who put that little pop ups like so and so purchased this five minutes ago. Well, good for so and so. All right, so, okay, $60. I think that that's actually pretty fair. All right, so I wanted to kind of, we're gonna do a kind of final thoughts, a checklist on this candle. But I wanted to show you guys, like I wanted to have something, a baseline to compare this jewelry to, okay? So this is the ring that we got, sterling silver. Very, very pretty. I'm actually super blown away by this ring. Okay. I'll put it right there. Okay. So I wanted to have a baseline for jewelry. I went to TJ Maxx and wanted to see um, what kind of jewelry, like sterling silver jewelry, I could get for, you know, a decent price. And I actually bought two rings and I'll show them both to you. I bought this one. You guys, this ring is freaking gorgeous. Can we talk about that? Like, it is so pretty. My mom's favorite color is yellow. This reminds me of, like, royalty, like something a princess would wear. Um, as you can see, you know, I pay $24.99, compare it $40, and I think that's more than fair. I think I've been to Zales. We've actually been kind of jewelry shopping lately, and, you know, a ring like this at Zales or, um, you know most of the jewelry places they actually want around a hundred dollars and up so i thought that 
you know, that was a good deal. As you can see, this is real sterling silver. This one is by the brand Gold Cake. And I really like this ring. So, you know, what you can find out there and shopping for if you've got $25, you can get you a gorgeous real sterling silver ring. So, I found that just to kind of have a baseline of, okay, you know, the price, the money, and everything like that. And then for $20, I've actually been wearing this set. Um, I got it right before Christmas. And I got this at TJ Maxx. Let's see if it'll focus. This is actually a three ring set. Put it on my hand and show you guys. And this three ring set is solid sterling silver and cubic zirconia. And this was $19.99. So, when we go through the checklist, I'm going to get to the point in a second on why I did this because, you know, you're going to have to make a decision if you're really just wanting to buy jewelry or if you, you know, just like the surprise of it, etc. But there are options out there. This candle I paid $17.99 for um, on sale. They're normally $31.99. So, let's go over my final thoughts as far as the price, the jewelry and everything like that. I made a little checklist here. All right, so the the candle itself, like did I like the candle itself overall? Um, yes, yeah, I really did. It checked all the boxes. Um, the scent, the throw was awesome. Like I will give them that. Like it, every time I lit it up, made the room smell really good. So that gets a check mark. Burn time, freaking yes, like double check that. This is a very long burning candle. Um, considering that it's a soy blend, I was very surprised by that. Very long burning. The jewelry, yes, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was going to like the ring. Thought it was just going to be some crap looking ring. I will actually wear this ring. I, I really, really do like it. Look at that, man. Like, that is really nice. Like, whoever bought that does their jewelry buying. Excelente. Um, the options and variety that the company offers. Um, I'll give them a check mark because they offer bath bombs. They offer specialty candles like the Harry Potter ones, seasonal ones. I will give them that. I think they have a nice variety of products, a nice mix of products. Um, the only thing I want to reiterate on the candle itself... I wasn't crazy about having to put it under a heat lamp. Um, again, it didn't want to burn evenly, but I did put it under a hot lamp as I burned it to kind of really help heat the edges, and it was okay. I just don't like having to do that. So that's the only negative I have about this candle. Otherwise, the scent was good. It burned a heck of a long time. I mean, I still got half a candle left, and I've been burning this thing for weeks. I'm not joking with you guys. Not like every day, but pretty often. Um, I love the jewelry. I think they have good options. Would I purchase it again? You guys, I would. I have no affiliation with this company. I bought this with my own money. I will probably buy another one from them. Matter of fact, I was looking at their website. I was like, oh, what are we going to get next um, to review for you guys? So yeah, I really, really liked it. Now, if you are just wanting jewelry, I urge you to just go and try to buy yourself something like in this price range at TJ Maxx. I think TJ Maxx is an awesome freaking value. That or if you've got a Ross, they both carry really nice sterling silver jewelry um, at, at a $20 price tag in there, at least in our area. I can only tell you guys what we have in our area. So um, that's not an issue. But if you like the element of kind of not knowing you want a surprise you know you've got a really nice candle i think this is a great company i think that the candle was really good it kind of reignited my love for jewelry candles and i got a very pretty ring i really really do like it a lot and i will definitely i think order another candle from them if you guys want to see that i really like it so yeah i'm gonna give this a big val approved 
I just think this is a really pretty ring for the price. I'm not disappointed and I had a great candle to go with it. So if you guys want to see more jewelry candle videos, let me know. I already have the next one. I'm fixing to start working on for you guys and I will get that working. I just want to know if this is something you want me to continue to review for you guys. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye.